All right, we back. Uh, you know, I mean, I got my subjects, but there's no doubt about it. The cat, the cat uh, interview is dominating, dominating uh, social media. Eighteen yeah. million. I, I, uh, and and my my opinion of it is, and uh, you know, cat told me one time. I mean, it's a true story. He said, you know, he owed me five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Cat, you know you owe me five hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I didn't know that, DC. I said, Yeah, we were in New York one time, he ain't had no money. Mm -hmm. he, ain't he said, If you told anybody, I said, I ain't like that. I don't roll like that. Don't tell nobody, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, Well, I'm just telling you, DC, if you would put that on social media, you'd have five million hits <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> I said, that's not how I roll, player. Right, it ain't about the money. I'm not going to throw you under the bus. It's principality. And Kat said to me, that's why I'm famous, and you just a good comedian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what he said, that's what man. He, said. he has a point. He told us, that's he what said, he said. Y'all should keep your camera rolling all the time all the when you're time. with me. We were like, man, we don't do nothing like that. So right. we had an incident, and uh, he taped it all. And TMZ called me on me $25,000. That's, that's that's Trump Williams right there. He Taste. just he Trump <laughs> Williams just tricked everybody. But now in, in his defense, he's he's a personable guy. Oh yeah. And in defense of my man Steve Harvey, <clears throat> Steve Harvey is extraordinarily sensitive, but mm -hmm. in a way I understand. Way down here on the totem pole where I am. <laughs> I, I mean, with regards to fame, right? It can take a toll on you. Now, it was never my desire to be ultra famous. It right. was never my desire to be no movie star. Never my desire. Never my desire to be rich or nothing. And right. I, and uh, ain't none of that happened. <laughs> <laughs> right. I made a living forty-four years. Correct. All I've done is comedy forty-four years, but that wasn't in my. But. Even way down here where I am, at times it gets to be a burden. But like I have coached the young cats who ask me, I don't volunteer information, nobody. Right. But as I have coached them, you cannot have the blessing of fame without the burden of fame. Right. I, I was, Along with right. the blessing of being famous, to whatever extent comes the burden of being famous. So there going to be situations where you don't feel like talking to people, but they want to talk to you. That's probably the only time if you're on the street, that's the only time they're ever going to see you in their life. Right. right. You know, they seeing you for the first time, probably they're the last excited. time. Mm -hmm. But you cannot have the blessing of fame without the burden of fame. And the burden goes with the blessing of fame. You but know? DC, with regards to you, let's just say, looking at your career, and not knocking Steve, I mean Steve Hart's got family feud and he's done movies, mm -hmm. but I would subject to argue that the character that you have played is more iconic in culture as Uncle Elroy than any character that Steve Harvey's ever played. Like I think people are more in tune with knowing Uncle Elroy and as far as like pop culture and, his, and who he is uh, would know that character that you played than anyone that Steve Harvey's ever did. You mm -hmm. you I, I would opinion. have to agree with Brian. You you to I mean, no, he's not, I would put name na me one a, a specific is. name of the character he's played in a movie, and name a quote of a Steve Harvey quote in a movie that he's played as a character he's played, versus just Uncle Elroy alone. And I guarantee you, people gonna know more of your quotes than any character that Steve Harvey's done in a movie. I challenge Possibly. anybody with that. Possibly, but I'm still proud of what he has accomplished. Oh yeah, I'm not right. saying that. I'm just saying that you. Know. you Taking, I mean, the 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 comely approach. I'm just saying, you still cannot undersell what Uncle Elroy is mm -hmm. in pop culture. That's true, but I just got to let I'm, See, not, the, I'm no actor. The thing mm. is, Ain't no with, with Cat is that he was smart when it came to what he did. Right. Um, the platform always makes a difference, mm. and he, I mean, he don't he he verbally says he don't like Kevin Hart. And he loves sports, so every time you s turn on Sports Center, you hear DraftKings just gave me twenty dollars. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So right. look, Kevin. how do I get on that platform? How yeah. do I get those people? But so now I saw room. where Tory Hart is traveling with Cat, uh, who is <laughs> Kevin Hart's ex-wife, mm -hmm. is now touring with Cat. Right. 
What'd you think? It's a game of chess. That's right. A heck of a move. It's, it's, it was a move. It was, you don't I, like I Kevin. Think, so. I don't know. I think but I think a, it's some low-down bullshit. I, I mean, that's some low-down shit to go out, even though they divorced, to go out with your ex-husband. Because, you know, it's a shot in Kevin Hart. Well, and, and he said he only take comedians out that's funnier than him. Right. <laughs> I think that's a Suge and P. Diddy move that he just Uh-oh. did. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, Uh-oh. I'm one of them. Well, I, I can't worry. I say. He also is. said to me, he also said, Kevin is the gatekeeper. Remember he said that? Yeah, Kevin is the gatekeeper. That. He, he opened that. up the gate and let Tiffany in. Well, you, you had the gate. Mm. You had the gate before, and you closed it and threw money out to the peasants. <laughs> oh, yeah. I admit I was accepting, but I think he went over. The, I think he crossed the line he did, when, when he started talking comparing about comparing himself to Jesus. Oh, that just that's, well, that's, well, DC. It was when petty. he started talking about uh, their wives. It, it, I, I, I wasn't with that. It was petty because he went on there because Ricky claimed that he had to roll in Fridays. When yeah. when when when. Uh, Ice Cube actually said, yeah, Ricky did read for the role. Read for it, right. And we were going to offer Ricky the role. But we decided to change and give Cat the role. Cat came in and blew it away. That's what Ricky said. And then, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm saying, so why did Cat feel that it was important for him to come on and bash because, everybody else, though? Because, because it was, a, it was a move to get more fans. That's what come it was. On, that's He's all a great You know how many NFL fans out there that didn't know him? But did yeah. you see Ricky's rebuttal? It was smart, wasn't it? No, oh, it, was, it was punk ass. Right, it was. Because <laughs> then he said, You should have said, I'm going to beat your ass. He, 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 he was smart. He, he, he took like, a real hard roll. Look, 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 look at the people that. Trick daddy said, I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. He took a real high roll. He did. He took a high roll. But there was no high roll. That was a punk ass. But DC, what? Ricky, Steve, and said all those guys got corporate sponsors behind them. So they can't go the low road and, and mm-hmm. get into that conversation with Cat and mm-hmm. lose their corporate money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he, he did a, you know, the Negro way. He did it the, 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 the street way. He did the save my money way. He did yeah. save my money. That's oh, what he did. God. Save my money. And if <laughs> I had corporate, if my I money. had <laughs> corporate sponsorship well, and I, you came for me, I would have did the same thing because my corporate money is worth more than going back and forth with you. I'd have did the same thing. Answer I don't know if I would have said go support him. I I just <laughs> yeah. I was like go support him. He went as far as calling him. Ain't, ain't, ain't no corporate deal that will not allow me to defend myself. Period. Period. But he didn't. Well, have, now, I mean, now you I'm the first one don't to def- say. I'm not saying don't defend himself. I'm just saying I wouldn't have been going back and forth. But hold on, but DC, you the first one to say. Give me that money. I'll take that money. I'll you take did that say money. How many times have did. you said that? If it's a whole, if, if it's, it's, it's life changing now, y'all, y'all be ashamed of me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but go back to uh, back to him getting Kevin Hart's wife. Y'all don't think that's a Suge and P Diddy move when Suge got. P. Diddy's uh, kid. I think, kid. I, mean, I think it's low down on. for her to do that. Oh, I was right. going to say, I was going to say, whose part is it low down on? Is it Cash part low down or Tori? Cause it's great on her part. I, think it was, why? No, I mean, I'm just saying, all the thing can do is ask. It's, huh? I get what you said if Tori's low down, because I'm like, well, you first place, she don't know who asked. You don't know if she asked him or he oh, asked right, him. Right, right, right. Yeah, we assuming. True. But we do want well, one thing. She they didn't together. say no. She didn't say no. We know yeah. that. But I ain't never, you know, to me, it's like I'm going out there now, but whatever. Yeah. A lot of these women, man. <laughs> when when when, when your man or your husband is doing something, it was just it's just like people suggesting that uh, Michelle run for president. When your husband has accomplished something like that, and then all of a sudden you gonna do. It. It's like Hillary Clinton running for president. Your husband, trying to one, up. one in a yeah, you're trying million, to one up. has become president. And now you're going to run for president as though you're really belittling your husband. You're really saying, you ain't done shit right. that I can't do. Exactly. And such is the case with Tori. All of a sudden, she's going to be a comedian. I've seen other comedians, and all of a sudden, their wives going to be a comedian. I, uh, I'm going to get some backlash from this, but I don't give a shit. Right. No. Problem. All of a sudden, Creflo Dollar's wife, Tammy, is a pastor. The Lord called her. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey. Well, I thought she been the cold passing. <laughs> I thought she been the cold passing. But that's, women, well, that's a business on, move. I'm just fucking what you go, say. Well, we got to go back. We got to go back. We got to Now, all the women in the church. You know I love you, D.C., but you know I got to say something. Go ahead. Defend your pastor. I feel as though <laughs> that comparison, the presidents, Michelle and, and Hillary, to Tories, two different things. What loyalty do she have to Kevin? She don't have any loyalty to Kevin. They're divorced. So I, I disagree. I think that's two different I things. I disagree Especially with that. when they didn't uh, end You always want to be civil. I mean, I don't know what the deal was. But he but, didn't put uh, her on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw my ex under the bus like that. I just got see, too much. I, I don't know if it's really class, but I, I just got too much. I'm not into that petty kind of shit. But see, that's different. The him and her relationship was totally jacked up from his what? own admission. You got some exes. Mm-hmm. You put them oh, in I your movie? But see, I, I, was... carry, I carry myself with a certain magic card. But and there you go. That's I what I'm saying. I carry myself with a certain magic card. And on top of that, mouth. my fourth baby daddy, because I got four baby daddies. My fourth baby daddy, no, my third baby daddy was my stage hand. So, oh, you I mean, put him to work. Yeah, well, well, him to work. Uh, you did the, uh, uh, gen, uh, was, who was it, J Lo that mad uh, <laughs> yeah. a dancer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure did. Then she went through P. Diddy. Yeah. Then she went through. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. No, she went to, she ended up been out before that shit with a baseball player, oh, Derek Jeter. Yeah. Derek Jeter. No, 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 not Derek Jeter. Alex, um, Alex, not Derek Alex, Jeter. Um, um, Alex Rodriguez. Yeah, A Rod. A Rod. A Rod. But I put, but I put him to work and then I deducted the child support that he owed. J Lo is now, a pimp. That that's, that's all I got to say. <laughs> J Lo, J Lo got nine engagement rings. Right, but when y'all say this though, even though she Tori fine, did it, she and, fine, and we don't, she fine, no good. and we might not agree with it. Cream rises to the top, so we don't. It could really backfire. I know what Cat and them trying to do, but if Tori ain't really hitting on nothing, because I've never heard her material, it could really look really bad. Sometimes you try to strike out to hit somebody and try to bury them. You need to like big another grave for yourself. So we, just hide your cookie back on. and let her write the jokes. I just want to see what's gonna happen because right. I'm not impressed with. Any, I've never seen any of Tori's comedy other than just a little but bit. You so say, she but you out say there. Tiffany Haddish ain't funny, but you bring Tori on yeah, tour with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. that's what I'm saying. See, and you fired that Sheba might backfire. Who I know is funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that might backfire. But Sheba Franklin was on tour with him. Yeah. She is funny. She's funny. Yeah. Yes. Who, Tori? No, Ashima Franklin. No, Ashima oh, Franklin okay. too. Were, were you there when Ashima was out there? Uh, yeah, Ashima. Were you there? No. no I, I only did the tour with me, him, D. Militant, and Leslie Jones. And D. Militant was a writer for him. I know for a fact. He's yeah. one of my good friends. Joey, yes. well, D. Militant. I mean, but ain't no shame in that game. Funny. You know, I know a yeah. lot of comedians. I've written for some very famous people that don't want to know, and I'm not interested in telling. Right. Well, DC, and people yeah, ask me, well, DC, me why would you work. write? The jokes you wrote for me. <laughs> Didn't work. You stole the they shit. Didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, my thing is, uh, you know, people say, well, "DZ, why would you write it for somebody not use it? Because it don't go with Your who style. who I am on stage. Right. Ain't my right. thing. It's funny, right? But it's it just ain't it ain't. I wrote me. for some people I, too. I something it. I wouldn't do. I wrote right. for people. Right. I, I mean, if I they mean, what's wrong with writing? Pay you to write for them. Why would right. you? Yeah. Write what's wrong with that? Writers make a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. yeah. We'll be right back. When we come back, we come back with the big surprise. <laughs> 